Hi, so today is about setting your intentions to manifest for 2019. Now there is a difference between a goal and an intention and I'm more drawn to intentions and the reason for that is because they're created from pure awareness and consciousness rather than from the mind and the ego and so therefore they have a in my experience, a much bigger chance of actually manifesting once you follow the right process. So if you want to know what that process is, then do stay. Because I'm going to share with you today the five steps in order for you to be able to create intentions for 2019 that you can manifest. Now, don't forget to subscribe below and do say hi and of course share, like and all that jazz. Um, I am at the end going to be sharing with you some fabulous news about the 2019 um, freebie. So also stay for that too or you might have some questions as well so if you do as going along then obviously just pop them in the box below and i'll just get back to you as soon as i can okay let's dive into this show transform your life from the inside out then so intentions how to create intentions in 2019 that will manifest so first of all, like an intention, as I started to say, is literally what it is, is it's, when we set an intention, it's like we're, we're everything we do, we, we, we actually, whether you're aware of it, we are setting an intention. So the intention to watch this video, there was an intention. Um, the intention to pick up a book and read it, the intention to nod your head, the intention to create a lovely home, the intention to get the right job, etc. They are all actually intentions whether you're aware of them or not. So you've actually been setting intentions your whole entire life and some of them have really come to fruition already. But this has mainly been done probably unconsciously and so this is about knowing this information so that you can consciously go and set some intentions that are going to align with your best outcome, the most fulfilled life and of course being happy and content. So what is this intention malarkey? Well, this is not new. Like, this is so not new. Like, sages have spoken about it. I mean, it even goes back as far as the Vedic times where there was a, a very, well, there's a very famous Vedic text, actually, which I'm going to read to you so don't get it wrong. But this sums up exactly what an intention really is. So the Vedic text said that you are what your deepest desire is. As your desire is, so is your intention. As your intention is, so is your will. As, you, as your will is, so is your deed. As your deed is, so is your destiny. So that's basically saying that like, when we set an intention and let it go, and then trust the universe is gonna do its job, then we can actually become master creators. And it then becomes our actual reality. There's a big fundamental thing though I think that we need to share that probably stops people from having all this stuff and that is that quite often we, we can become a little bit obsessed with what it is that and we want to create and unfortunately if we if we hold tightly on something we don't allow it to have the space to be able to grow. So you know like if you were to plant a tree, plant a tree and then spend the whole time like Hold on to this little tree, really, for your dear life. I mean, the poor thing wouldn't have a chance to be able to get sunlight to it, it wouldn't have a chance to be able to absorb the nutrients from, from the soil because it would be like throttled tightly and it would just wouldn't flourish. And so, this is the same with an intention. We've got to learn to be able to create an intention, sure, but also give it the space to be able to develop and grow. So, how do we go about setting our intentions? Very simple. If you are into meditating, then you've already got a quicker way to get there, really. And the reason for that is because when we go into a meditative state, we actually bypass the ego and we start resting in, in conscious awareness. And this is the playing ground, if you like, for intentions to grow. Like, conscious awareness is literally like the super fuel in which anything is created. And so in order to get there, we need, it, we need a tool. And so meditation allows us to bypass egoic mind and rest in that space. So the best time to set an intention for 2019 is after you've done some meditating. If you're not sure how to meditate, then I do have a video, uh, I have a YouTube clip on, on a type of meditation called Ascension. It's an introduction, actual um, video to what that is. So go and have a little look at that. And if not, um, that will give you some inspiration of what type of meditation it is and why and how it will benefit your life. 
and if not, just go onto YouTube and see if you can find a little meditation to follow. So, you've now bypassed the egoic mind where limitation is, and you're now resting in conscious awareness, and it's the end of a meditation, and so you're going to set the intention at the end for your intentions to arrive of what it is you want to create in 2019. So, you can write that down, it's absolutely fine, yeah? So it might be the intention is that um, I'm going to, you're going to create a business, you're going to, um, it might be a health intention, it might be a family intention, it doesn't matter, it can be all of them. So you set your intentions and then you rest, let it rest back into, in its place where it's going to grow, which is consciousness, and how you do that is you immediately then let it go. So step two is a letting go process. It's back to that tree, not squishing it so it can't bring. We have to give it the room to, in order for it to be able to develop. So it's not about every five seconds just going, where, you know, have, have I manifested this yet? Because that will slow that situation down. You literally have to get out of the way of yourself. And so by getting out of the way of yourself, I mean by not thinking about it all the time. So you've given it the space that it's due because most people are caught up in like their minds most of the time. And that's kind of emotions, it's memories, it's thinking. And these things are kind of the things that, that slow this experience down because if you get in the way of this intention, then you're trying to like, if you're trying to control what it looks like and how quickly it's gonna happen, it just won't happen, okay? So, you're, so you've now let go, you've given it back, you're letting, giving it its due course so it can develop and it can become the best intention development possible. Then what happens is step three is now you need to become aware. Now, what I mean by that is you need to become aware of who you're sharing this with. And I always say, Mm, I used to be really bad at like getting excited about my ideas and sharing it with every man and his dog. And what I've realised is I diluted my intentions down like 90% by doing that because people would have an opinion. Because everybody has an opinion. And quite often people's opinions are always to the, to the expansion of their own minds, which are limited. And so they will be quite negative, like, who do you think you are? That's not possible. Like, how are you going to do that? Blah, 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 blah. And I would take on board all their comments. And by the time I'd finished, I bought into the belief that it wasn't possible. And so what happens? You don't create it. So be aware of, like, not diluting this to people. Just keep it close to you. You know, you don't need to share it with everybody else. Create it and then share it. Yeah? Create it and then show people. So awareness is number three. Number four being detached to the outcome now what i mean by this is this is not just an intention create in creating intentions actually this is everything in life like number one suffering number one suffering for all humans is having an idea of how things should look and it obviously not turning out like that you have zero control over like what's going to unfold but you do have total control over what meaning you put to things and the best thing to do is to create this intention let it go and then let but then absolutely have no control over the attachment to the outcome because if you do you'll put the brakes on it and it won't happen so it's having no attachment to the outcome and literally you can transfer that into everything in your life and i promise you you'll find freedom if you have no attachment to what things should look like and how people should be and where you should be in life and blah 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 I promise you freedom is is that because the problem about the people is that they have like ideas and concepts and, and perceptions of how things should look how things should turn out how they should be and that's where suffering happens because of course like you know we're not we're, we're pretty amazing human beings but one thing we can't do is we can't time travel yet into the future and see what that outcome is going to be so zero attachment to the outcome right deal and then finally the most important part is trusting and allowing the universe to do its job so you have set your intention you've got clear with it you've done it after meditation so you've done it from unconscious awareness from pure state of awareness you've then let it go back you let it go you've been really you've been really careful who you've shared it with so not to dilute it and now you have to trust that the universe is going to do its job. Yeah, so no attachment to the outcome, trusting. And so what you're gonna do is, you, by trusting, you're just gonna literally, you're just gonna, you can become the observer of your experience and you can like, you can like see what the universe is producing and maybe some signs or maybe like little like, spread crumbs along the way before it happens of like, 
yes, you're on the right tracks and rah, 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 rah. But the thing is, is that you've got to not think that you are going to get this by trying to interfere and be controlling. You have to give it back. You have to give it back to the universe and it will let it do its job because it can do it properly. And if you follow those five steps, what you'll find is your intention in 2019 will be fluid, fun, exciting, abundant, and you will realize what a master creator you actually are. Humans are so powerful, but yet most people live to the limitation of the mind, which is fear and limitation. And of course, that's not where intentions are created. So in order for you to be able to bypass that, it's about creating this from conscious awareness and the fastest way to do that is at the end of a meditation. Enjoy creating, I'm so excited. I can't wait to hear what wonderful things that you develop over 2019. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this, do press like and of course share and I'd love to hear your comments and do subscribe. And let me tell you about my 2019 little uh, course that's coming up. So it's all about stress and it's all about anxiety. Who wants to go into 2019 with stress and anxiety? Not me. So if you know someone or maybe yourself you think might benefit from this, it's over five days, it's been heavy on Facebook Live. All you've got to do is subscribe below. I pop the link below, just click on it, leave the details and we'll inform you when it's about to go live. And there's gonna be some bonuses for people that actually are there in the live one, but if you can't make it, then we will record it. Otherwise, enjoy creating your intentions for 2019. Have fun.